the descendants of Judah, Perez, Hezron, Carmi, Hur, and Shobal. Rea, son of Shobal, was the father of Jahath, and Jahath the father of Ahumai and Lahad. These were the clans of the Zorathites. These were the sons of Etam, Jezreel, Ishma, and Idbash. Their sister was named Hazelilponai. Penuel was the father of Gedor, and Ezer, the father of Husha. These were the descendants of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrathah, and the father of Bethlehem. Asher, the father of Tekoa, had two wives, Hela and Naorah. Naorah bore him Ahuzam, Hepha, Temanai, and Heuhashtari. These were the descendants of Naorah, the sons of Hela, Zerith, Zohar, Ethnan, and Kaz, who was the father of Anab and Hazubiba, and of the clans of Oparhel, son of Haram. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Caleb, Shua's brother, was the father of Meher, who was the father of Eshton. Eshton was the father of Beth Rapha, Pusia and Tahina, the father of Ur Nahash. These were the men of Rika, the sons of Kenaz, Othniel and Sereya, the sons of Othniel, Hathath and Mianothai. Mianothai was the father of Ophrah. Sereya was the father of Joab, the father of Giharashim. It was called this because its people were skilled workers. The sons of Caleb, son of Jephunneh, Iru, Elah, and Nahum. The son of Elah, Kenaz. The sons of Jehalalel, Ziph, Zipha, Teriah, and Aserel. The sons of Ezra, Jether, Merit, Ephur, and Jalen. One of Merit's wives gave birth to Miriam, Shammai, and Ishba, the father of Eshtemoah. His wife from the tribe of Judah gave birth to Jared, the father of Geder, Heber, the father of Soko, and Jekuthiel, the father of Zenoah. These were the children of Pharaoh's daughter, Bithiah, whom Merit had married, the sons of Hodiah's wife, the sister of Naham, the father of Keilah the Garmite, and Eshtemoah the Meugathite, the sons of Shimon, Amnon, Rena, Ben-Hanan, and Tylan, the descendants of Ishai, Zoheth and Ben-Zoheth, the sons of Shelah, son of Judah, Ur, the father of Leka, Leuda, the father of Marisha, and the clans of the linen workers at Beth Ashbia. Jochim, the men of Koziba, and Joash and Sarif, who ruled in Moab, and Jashaba Lehim. These records are from ancient times. They were the potters who lived at Netaim and Gedira. They stayed there and worked for the king. The descendants of Simeon, Nemuel, Jamin, Jareb, Zerah, and Shaul. Shalom was Shaul's son, Mipsam his son, and Mishma his son. The descendants of Mishma, Hamuel his son, Zacher his son, and Shimei his son. Shimei had sixteen sons and six daughters, but his brothers did not have many children. 
so their entire clan did not become as numerous as the people of Judah. They lived in Beersheba, Molida, Hazer Shul, Bilhah, Ezem, Tolad, Bethuel, Horma, Ziklag, Beth Markabeth, Hazer Susim, Beth Birai, and Sheurayim. These were their towns until the reign of David. Their surrounding villages were Etam, Ain, Rimen, Token, and Ashen, five towns and all the villages around these towns as far as Baalath. These were their settlements, and they kept a genealogical record. Mishobah, Jamlik, Joshua, son of Amaziah, Joel, Jehu, son of Joshabiah, the son of Sareah, the son of Asiel, also Elioenai, Jeukaba, Jeshuheah, Useah, Adiel, Jesimiel, Binneah, and Ziza, son of Shiphai, the son of Alan, the son of Jedea, the son of Shimrai, the son of Shemeah. The men listed above by name were leaders of their clans. Their families increased greatly, and they went to the outskirts of Gedor to the east of the valley in search of pasture for their flocks. They found rich, good pasture, and the land was spacious, peaceful, and quiet. Some Hamites had lived there formerly. The men whose names were listed came in the days of Hezekiah, king of Judah. They attacked the Hamites in their dwellings, and also the Meunites who were there, and completely destroyed them, as is evident to this day. Then they settled in their place, because there was pasture for their flocks, and 500 of these Simeonites, led by Pelotiah, Neariah, Rephaiah, and Uziel, the sons of Ishai, invaded the hill country of Seir. They killed the remaining Amalekites who had escaped, and they have lived there to this day.